We're mm -hmm. here with Pasadena Mayor Bill Bogard and former Public Information Officer Ann Erdman. Good morning, guys. Thank Good you for coming. Fun to be here. This is exciting mm -hmm. stuff, isn't it? Thank Thanks you. for having us. <laughs> Things Thank seem you. to be going so very well. So let's just start with this parade. Does it ever get old to you? Do you love watching it all these years? Uh, my family and I have lived in Pasadena for now 40 years. And um, after seeing the first one, the first year we were in town, we've never missed one since then. It's a great event. So it's a whole tradition for you. Do <laughs> yes, you you don't camp out, though, on the street, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't camp out. Uh, our children did as they grew up. Uh, they but did. They frequently then, when the parade started, went home to get get some sleep. Uh, oh, yeah. Skip the parade. <laughs> and you actually have a pretty unique perspective on the parade. You were actually on one of these floats a couple years back in 2012, weren't you? I was in, in 2012 as a gift from family and friends, including Bill and Claire Bogard. I rode on the Kiwanis International float and it was oh, wow. uh, kind of a welcome back to life uh, uh, present from all these wonderful people. <laughs> oh my people. gosh, that's and quite That must have been so great though. <laughs> it was fantastic and uh, from a perspective that most of the world doesn't get to see going down that parade route. It was it was just Certainly phenomenal. Well, well, I don't know if I can give you that kind of present. Uh, <laughs> maybe one of these days. One Hopefully of these things work out. Well, you know, speaking of that, we're trying to build our long tradition, but you both have been working together for about 16 years before you retired. That's longer than most Hollywood romances. Yeah, what kind of tips do you have for us? Not romances. <laughs> How do we make this partnership work? <laughs> he, he, he was my work husband. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I want to give you both a chance to give us some of your funny stories about each other that, you know, most people don't get to know. So I'll start with you, Ann. Well, uh, we, were, we were talking a few minutes ago about one of the Sister Cities trips that we took. This one was to our uh, very first Sister City of Ludwigshafen, Germany. Uh, there was no Wi-Fi at the hotel what? where How we How do you stayed. function? Uh, <laughs> no. And, uh, but there was one and only one hardline computer in the hotel lobby. So the question was, first thing in the morning, and I mean really early, who was going to get to this computer oh first? Uh -oh. Sometimes we would beat each other, and other times we would come down the elevator at the same time at say 4 30 in the morning oh my gosh oh, wow. you guys are early risers <laughs> computer and so we we had uh quite a good natured rivalry going on were their elbows to, flying to, to down see the who stairs. was going to get to that computer first <laughs> and i think maybe a couple times we might have tossed a coin i'm not sure oh. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make those little compromises <laughs> that's great workhorses here what about you do you have a story about Anne you'd like to share the, the memory that I have of Ann is uh, how hard she worked uh, at all hours of the day and night. So uh, from my point of view, uh, Ann tended to take on so many projects that she just always barely met the deadline. She always met the deadlines, but it was sometimes close. And frequently, the, uh, the product that, uh, that I was waiting for from Ann, which is always of superb quality, came at 2.30 in the morning. 3.30 in the morning, yeah. uh, I get up at, at my normal time at 5 o'clock and turn on my computer and all of a sudden all this stuff is there for man. She's a night owl like me. I, I keep trying to switch my schedule I can and I can't believe that quite about do you. it. That's great though. <laughs> well, we're hearing all this background noise because there are some great classic cars driving down Pasadena. And I want to also know, like, what are some of your favorite, where are you regulars it, around town? You know, as far as shopping or restaurants? Oh. Or, well, first. you know, Pasadena uh, is famous for its uh, restaurants, its hospitality industry. And I would say that uh, I have uh, a uh, list of favorite restaurants. It's actually a, a closely guarded state secret. Uh, <laughs> but uh, there are a lot of restaurants in town, and my family and I and my friends and I enjoy uh, trying those out. They're on South Lake, they're on Colorado Boulevard, they're on South Arroyo Boulevard. So, I just want to thank the both of you for coming along for this very special first episode of CCN Sunrise, I and mean, we look forward to seeing you guys again. It's a pleasure to be part of this historic event. Thank, thank you very you much, so guys. Much.